This vaccine is now available for children who are between the ages of 5 and 11. The data shows that it's safe and that it's effective, most importantly. And so if you have the opportunity to um, get your children vaccinated, I would highly encourage it. We now have an um, emergency use authorization for the COVID vaccine for children who are between the ages of 5 and 11. This is the Pfizer messenger RNA vaccine that um, will require two doses 21 days apart. Kids are considered fully vaccinated once they are about two weeks after receiving their second dose. There is a difference in dosage primarily between those that are being given for those under 12 and those that are 12 to 17. And so while the vaccine itself is exactly the same, the dose that we're going to be giving to kids between 5 and 11 is 10 micrograms as opposed to 30 micrograms for those that are 12 and older. At the end of the day, it's really important to get your children vaccinated. First of all, children can still get very sick um, from COVID. And I have taken care of lots of children who have had severe, significant, long-term complications from COVID. And some of them were quite healthy prior to getting COVID. And we know that um, the vaccine will mitigate sort of the serious complications. Either you'll not get it, or if you get it, you'll have a very mild version of COVID. In general, most places that are offering the COVID vaccine now will continue to be able to provide vaccines for kids that are under the age of 12. Northwell in particular are making sure that the vaccine pods where we have been administering vaccines both for staff as well as for the community will remain open and will have dedicated staff that work um, closely with children or are comfortable working with children. This vaccine has been tested on thousands and thousands of adults and children. Um, specifically for kids that were between the ages of 5 and 11, there were over 2,000 children enrolled in this clinical trial. It was just as effective as um, the um, vaccines for those that are 16 and over. Absolutely. So all kids can get their flu shot as well as the COVID vaccine at the same time. In fact, I got both my uh, COVID booster um, as well as my flu shot at the same time. The most common side effects tend to be pain at the vaccination site, um, headaches, sometimes um, fever and chills. The best way is that after you get the vaccine, if, if your child experiences any of these symptoms, you can give them acetaminophen, which is also known as Tylenol, or ibuprofen, also known as Motrin. And if you have a child that is young and you need dosing guidelines, you can look on our Northwell website and our Cohen Children's website, and we have all the dosing guidelines um, for young children based on age and weight um, for both um, Tylenol and ibuprofen. For kids that have a history of more severe allergies, we will watch them for 30 minutes. If their child does develop an allergy, we have, we're all prepared to, to manage it. I get that question a lot, particularly because I take care of a lot of children with very serious chronic conditions. The vaccine, thankfully, um, has been administered in many, many older kids, adolescents, young adults, and adults with significant chronic conditions, and we have found it to be remarkably safe. And so I feel very comfortable um, recommending to my parents that the vaccine is worth it 
that the risk of complications from getting COVID is much higher than any potential rare complications that might come from getting the vaccine. We can manage the complications that come from the vaccine. It is very hard to manage the complications that come from the actual infection.